What's going on guys? I came here. So today I make another video revolving on some Black Ops 2 information. So today we're going to be talking about some emblems that David Vondahar has been putting on his Twitter a bunch because David Vondahar loves to tease us. We're also going to be talking about some true skill matchmaking. So first to give a little background about true skill matchmaking. So the main game on the console that actually has this system already put into their game is Halo. So the way you rank up in Halo is... Depending on how you win the game, you get ranked up with other people. So it's not like you got KD wise and you're worsening around noobs all the time. In Call of Duty, the way they uh, get you in a lobby is they put you by your best connection possible and then other factors get into place. But the main big factor of them choosing you a game is connection. But in Halo, it depends on how much winning games you have. So if you have a lot of won games, then you're going to be playing against people who also are good at winning games. If you have very, very low amount of winning games, you can put in with a bunch of noobs. So this could be good and bad for some people. So for people like us, I think the average guy would like the challenge too because uh, it makes the little game more refreshing. But people like J Nasty and stuff like them who get like Penta Moabs, it's going to be a little more difficult for them because they're not going to be able to get these insane amount of Moabs in their gameplay. But bringing on another topic though, is this going to be world like game wide? a uh, feature put into the game or is it going to be simply just a regular playlist how they had the competitive playlist back in Black Ops 1 who knows but personally I think they should make it game wide I like this feature a lot because I prefer actually playing against good players and it gives me more refreshing fun uh, time playing the game it just makes it all around more fun because I find if you play against noobs they're always using crappy tactics they're always using the same FAMAS over again they got the dead man's hand and everything like that but when you find good players they use unlike what I'm using the FAL do you ever see anybody else use an FAL in their commentary no because all the noobs use the famas maybe this can make the game a lot more interesting and make it last a lot longer because previously in call of duty it's been going down a lot faster in the amount of time we actually like the game call of duty 4 we liked it for two years look at my gun jam up there that, that was bullshit uh, but call of duty 4 the game lasted two years which was crazy call of duty 5 lasted about a year i would say but we were all still playing call of duty 4 because how much fun it was modern Warfare 2 i'd say ran about till july until we started to get bored Black Ops, it was maybe January or February, and the Modern Warfare 3 it wasn't even December. So hopefully this two matchmaking skill system into the game make a whole lot different and new mechanic into the game. I'm personally enjoying the idea, and hopefully you guys too. Let me know if you think about it. So a little bit more information about the Black Ops 2, uh, I guess you could call it League matchmaking system here. As you can see, this David Vondahar tweet, the person below this tweet is unracked in Black Ops 2 MP and needs four more placement matches. So I guess there is going to be a ranked playlist where um, the symbols are going to be these guys. So kind of flicking through the screen uh, in random order. I can't really remember which way David Hondahar um, tweeted them out. But basically, I th believe these are the logos. The very last logo, I'm sure, is the highest rank. But basically, I think it's the bronze ones are like, uh, like the new players. Miss Silver's middle and then like the really cool ones are the higher ranked ones. Makes a lot of sense there to me, guys. But... Um, it's it does add a new feature in the game, in my personal opinion. I do really like the idea. It's a fun new way of having a rank playlist. But the way I think they should run it is especially through a uh, playlist idea. Because if you guys ever play the competitive playlist, it was a lot of fun in Black Ops. There was a lot of people in there who had good connections too. I find there to be more hardcore players in that playlist. Overall, in my opinion, I think it's a good idea. But if you look at these symbols over here, guys, what do you think of them? I believe this last one is the best, the green one here with the bird on it. I believe it's going to be the top ranked playlist. And it's definitely going to show who's actually the better player here. Because when you watch YouTube videos, you don't really get a discreet or even proper description of how good that player is because right now if you guys look at this gameplay you probably think I'm really good at Call of Duty but I would say I'm alright I want to say like I'm on a Wings of Redemption or Jay Nasty or Ronald Dino level I just say I'm I would say a little bit above average you know the KD is around the two area nothing special just a little bit better but one thing that I do have working against me is I really like to play the objective as you can see this whole game I'm always sticking around flags capturing them if it's the right correct time to spawn trap them or some possible way you know I get defender flags every single way maybe this could somehow be implemented into your stats and get matched up other players who actually do this stuff in their game as well it just makes a much more fun environment to my opinion Okay guys, so I got a little bit more information here, but this is going to be regarding about zombies. Since I got plenty of time left in the video, I thought I would fill out this video with the zombie information that I have instead of making a little short video for next week. So basically, do you guys remember that audio clip about 
two months ago basically leaked onto the internet talking about how zombies are taking over the northeast part of the USA and um, how everybody claimed it to be fake but then uh, a lot of people claimed it to be real but uh, there was no official confirmation from Treyarch. I'm going to play that tape right now. A recent zombie outbreak has been discovered in the eastern U.S. Officials say that they have it contained but some may wonder, are we really safe? A new self-defense weapon, simply known as the TG for short, has been mass distributed and used throughout the Northeast. Government officials have sent black operatives to handle the situation. Details June 21st. So did you catch that guys where the lovely lady was talking about how they're mass distributing the TG gun in the Northeast part of the USA? Very interesting stuff, don't you think? Because we all thought that I was talking about the Thunder Gun black from Black, uh, black Ops 1, the original one. But it appears to be that we are wrong. So about a week ago, during the Black Ops 2 multiplayer reveal, apparently a Treyarch employee leaked a bunch of stuff out. And there was a bunch of multiplayer, but we only have one line from, <laughs> from the Zombies section. And basically he's talking about one weapon. And that's only one weapon in the list. It's called the Tesla Gun. So... Could this be the TG gun they're talking about? The Tesla gun could be a new type of gun that is put into Black Ops 2 Zombies because every time they release a new map, they release some kind of new weapon. Previously, it was like uh, we had upgradable guns, we got perks sometimes in the traps, monkey bombs, all that kind of stuff. It wouldn't be a surprise if they had a new type of gun in the brand new uh, zombies for Black Ops 2. But guys, check out this man. Uh, we also got a couple more little zombie info. So basically, uh, from characters that are returning, we got other from Danny Trejo returns for the voice character of a zombie campaign mode. So I believe this is going to be uh, how they're talking about there's a new story in zombies where you got 4v4 zombies. Pretty cool stuff right there, but here are some uh, new locations. So we got dinner and farm. So we're going to have two new zombie maps starting off with Black Ops 2 when a game comes out. I'm pretty damn sure about that. Wouldn't be surprised. We had in Black Ops 1. Dinner sounds pretty cool. Um, very interesting farm. Maybe it's kind of open fields. I'm expecting to be really big. But we had a bunch of train map leaks from uh, a couple weeks ago. But this could be making it a little bit. Maybe it's map pack ideal. And then modes we have meat. So I don't really know what to think of that. Maybe that's just our standard uh, game type for Black Ops 2 Zombies guys, but the video is surely coming to an end And if you guys haven't already you want to hit the subscribe button I am hitting 400 subscribers pretty damn soon guys, and I would really enjoy it if I could hit it faster Sooner the better uh, if you haven't already guys like it too And uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about the zombie info And are you looking forward to the true skill matchmaking in Black Ops 2? Definitely I am for sure hopefully I emphasize that enough in this video but uh, hopefully this will make the YouTube a lot more balanced now because these moabs are everywhere. And Jay Nasty, he's going to be raging a lot for sure these days. Peace, everyone.